Salzburg is a very amazing town in Austria to check out. And also, the Salzburg region is very cool. There is, there is uh, Baroque sites made during the time of Old Dietrich, Archbishop Old Dietrich. There's so much Mozart sites that you will be spoiled for choice. And um, there, of course, is the Salzkammer Gut Lake District. So, here are my top tips for visiting Salzburg. Salzburg deserves two, uh, maybe, and a half days to see. Like, I'm talking about the whole Salzburg region. Like, one day you could explore Salzburg, the city, with the fortress and the Mozart house and the, and the uh, Salzburg Cathedral, which you see in the picture. And the, like, um, the, the Augustiner Abbey. Or and and the cafes and the pub and the marionette theater and all these all the fun stuff Mirabel Palace residence, all kinds of stuff. Then, um, on the second or third day, you uh, second day slash third day slash half slash half day take a, go to the Salt Camargue Lake District. It's a quite nice area, like with nature. It's the in the Alps where uh, Austrians go for vacation. And it's very gorgeous, so you will need a car. You will want a car for those. You can take the train. The trains go to all the small towns, but they don't go fairly frequently, so you want to do stuff on your own table, so you will want a car. And uh, don't worry, most of the sites are very close together, most of the lakes and stuff like that. The, so there are out-of-the-way things like Bad Gastein Falls or Crimo Falls. Crimo Falls is actually closer to Innsbruck, if you're wondering. So... It can also be done as a day trip from Munich or Vienna. Munich is an hour and a half away by train. Vienna is two and a half hours away by train. But you're going to have to pick between one of those days. You're going to see the city or the countryside. So you have that. My first tips were not really tips, but they were more what to know. But I included some tips in there as well, like how to explore and how to plan your time and stuff like that. But now we're going to move on to the big technical tips. So, some okay. So let's start with the Mirabel Palace, which you see behind me, which was, uh, which was, which is one of the most gorgeous palaces in Salzburg, obviously. Um, you uh, you're going to visit it, like, uh, it's in. But what you need to know is, it's in, not in the old town. Salzburg, just like Budapest and Prague, have two sides of the river. Uh, in Salzburg, the river is the Salzach, if you didn't know. So you have the old town on the far side of the river with the, uh, with the, play, with the, with mate, with most of the sites like the Mozart, Mozart Geburtshaus, not the Mozart von Haus, the Geburtshaus where he was born. Then there's also sites like Salzburg Cathedral and then the Hohen Salzburg Fortress. However, the 17th century new town on the other side of the river has a few sites as well. For example, the Mirabel Palace and the Von House, or the Mozart Von House, by the way. So, and Mirabel Palace is in the new town, not in the old town, and the Mozart Von Houses as well, which leads me to my next tip is this, don't visit this, this Mozart Geburtshaus. It has... Like, one score, one piano, one violin, that's it. It's a very boring exhibition. Just visit the Von House, give it a much broader, in-depth view of Mozart, so you're going to like that better. And one thing you should not do is lock your love on a bridge. That applies to any city you're going to go to. On the bridge across the river, people lock their love. Don't. Don't. It, it might destroy the bridge like it almost did in Paris, by the way. And it almost destroyed St. John Nepomuk on Charles Bridge in Prague. Just don't do it. Second slash last section of this video is food. Because how can I talk about travel and not food, obviously? So let's get started. Okay. First thing I will say is eat the Mozart Kugan. I the Salzburg is famous for Mozart, but eat the Mozart Kugan. They're the real deal here. Unlike in Vienna, you have the red things that are just chocolate balls. Or here you have the filling, and they're way tastier, obviously. And then Obviously, my second tip is do not eat on Getreidegasse, the main street. 
uh, except for Cafe Mozart, which is what I'm going to talk about next, which I ate there. It's the apple strudel from there. I ate it before I started eating it before I took a picture, which was weird. I addressed this in my, in my Vienna Tips video, too, so you can check that one out, by the way. And um, it's the best apple strudel I've had uh, on, my, on the whole trip. And... Uh, on my whole trip in Austrian Czech Republic, had apple strudels in Austrian Czech Republic. It's the best one uh, out of all of them. They have very good coffee there, like Melange or uh, other stuff. And then, so that's it. Hope you hope you enjoy this video or, and my tips to the salts that were good Lake District and the salts and Salzburg City or just in general the Salzburg region. I hope you visit it after after the pandemic is over. And um, hope you enjoyed it.